What's up guys, I'm the SJ Vlogs, back to another vlog for you guys. Today vlog is Easy versus Chesterfield. And the last time we played Chesterfield was at their ground, we lost 3-2. But last time we played Chesterfield at the Easy's ground, we beat them 2-1. Brendan Camp, last minute goal. Can we repeat that? It's maybe a possibility, but I think Chesterfield this season are going to be way too strong for us. But we did get three new signings. Two defenders, obviously one midfielder, so hopefully that can improve our defence because we have been lacking so many goals recently. Currently, Chesterfield sit in top of the league with 74 points and played 29 games. Obviously, they're on one fantastic run they're on. And as well, in the last five National League games, they've won as well, so they're coming in form. EC currently sit in 11th with 38 points, 7 points off the playoffs, which recently we've been struggling. And easy got to watch out with Greg. He's obviously 17 goals this season. So he's been banging in goals. So we've got to watch out for him, especially our league defence. Hopefully we don't concede that many goals. But yeah, for my score prediction, I think it's going to be a very tough game for Eastley. I think we will lose 2-1. But I think McCann will get on the score sheet. The lineup just come out. I just looked at it and four changes to the squad. Incredible. The team who played against Ultronum, it got Clampen, Hodgson... Crew and Rutherford also into the squad. It's obviously Martin is back into the squad. We've got Greenwood who's first game playing. Quigley is back in and the new signing as well, Long King. He's starting as well in the first game. My score pitching still is 2 1 to Chesterfield. Go. 
first man clearance.
Australian Peter Lynn and the movement all the combat area for your own safety. Thank you.
you guys, end of the vlog. Gotta say, disappointing performance from Eastley. Yet another game we can see the three plus goals, which is very, very annoying. We can't stop conceding goals, and we've not won a game this year at all, which is not good for AC perspective. So we conceded 20 goals in the last six league games, which is embarrassing. If that was exactly the same under Barbary, and he got sacked for that, disappointing results and poor form and we're going through it with Hill it's in exactly the same season which is I don't know what to say 20 league goals it's, it's not good enough so credit to Chesterfield they deserve to win that game from the get go they actually had the ball playing it around 1-2 made space for every time they had the ball as well they looked like a well oiled team Compared to us, we kept hoofing the ball. Didn't want like any player to get on the ball. A few moments where some players did. At the start of the game, we had two chances. One with Quigley and one with McCallum. They are the two best chances we had in the middle of the game. And we had the other chances were from like long range. But it wasn't really troubling the keeper at all. If we took them chances, it could have been a totally different game. Chester will do go and score. That's a fantastic finish. And then Paul McCallum actually goes through on goal, and the um, linesman flags his um, flag up for offside. But to me, at the time, from watching it, he looked like he was onside. But obviously, he got done for dissent, obviously complaining, which obviously he knows he shouldn't be doing. But that's the third booking, the second one, second yellow, which 100% deserved. I could have broke the guy's ankle, and obviously, the referee had a clear view of it, and his second yellow off. I don't know what McCann was complaining about. Probably most likely from the first yellow he got. But he's been missing a game against Tuesday against Gateshead. So probably another loss. We didn't really change it up much. I only changed formation at half time. And Chesterfield kept playing the ball around around us. And not one bit that like we were going to score. And then eventually Chesterfield do go and score very, very late into the game. For the second goal in the 84th minute. I don't understand how McDonald always gets beaten by his near post and yet again it's happened, beaten by his near post which is shocking for goalkeeper perspective and then not even a minute later, Will Grigg going to score yet again down our right hand side, just poor defending ball whips in across the goal, Will Grigg taps it in that's for us, made it 3-0, then we did get a penalty right at the end people are saying it's a soft penalty but in the end it is a penalty, ref gave it and Chris McGuire steps up and scores, which consolation goal, but don't don't really think we deserve to even get a goal. But Chester did deserve to win. They six on the bounce. They've won the league. I just don't think anyone can really stop them. So after they'll be going promoted into the league two most likely. But with EC well most likely only five points off the relegation, I think eight points off playoffs, which at at this stage of as mid table, if we do lose our next two games minimum, so Gates said, and then a fold at home, we're in, we're in big trouble. I just we need a new manager in who can take this team forward and also get this team attacking. But I, I just don't see it at the moment. If we do lose the next two games, we're in deep, deep trouble. But I won't be good to our next game is um, Gates at away on the Tuesday night, planning on doing it, but obviously, I've got work commitment so. So I, can't, I won't be able to go. But a Saturday game against Fylde at home, I'll be going. So if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you see you next Saturday.